The upgraded Bobcat depth check system provides depth awareness of the bucket distance to the final grade, helping operators dig and grade more accurately and efficiently. This system can be used with or without a laser system. For this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the system without a laser, which will require you to use the bucket teeth or cutting edge to establish a benchmark. This benchmark is primarily done on either ground level or grade point. Let's run through two common applications for depth check operation, digging to a specific depth below ground level and sustaining an established grade. To start, we'll dig to a specific depth below ground level, where the grade will change with the variation in ground level. Common applications for this type of digging include trenching electrical utility lines and trenching for pressurized water lines that are not fed by gravity. The primary objective for both these applications is to maintain a certain depth below ground level, even if ground level changes elevation. Today, our objective is to dig 24 inches below ground level. We want a flat trench or a 0% slope. Once the machine is in position to begin excavation, our first step is to set the target depth to 24 inches, then set the target slope to 0%. Next, Establish a benchmark directly on or next to the trench by placing the tip of the bucket teeth or cutting edge on the ground. As a note, the depth check system may be benched with the bucket edge flat or with the teeth or cutting edge straight down. The bucket's range of motion is always tracked. After our benchmark is set, the system will communicate the depth and distance to target as excavation begins. A best practice is to take shallow and lengthy digging cycles as you approach grade point to avoid overdigging. Depth check provides audible and visual alerts as the bucket approaches, achieves, or surpasses grade point with slow progressive beeps as you approach grade, a solid tone and green display upon achieving grade, and rapid tones with red display if you dig below grade. After repositioning the machine, a new benchmark should be established to ensure you continue to dig 24 inches below ground level as you continue the trench. Next, let's look at sustaining an existing grade. Common applications of sustaining a grade are digging footings for a building or retaining wall with a 0% slope, along with septic, sewage, or non-pressurized water lines where a consistent sloped trench must be sustained. In this example, we're going to maintain an existing grade that has a 2% slope. To sustain an existing grade, set the target depth to 0.0, .0 inches, and since this grade slopes downward toward the machine at a 2% slope, the target slope should be set to positive 2%. The system has the capability to dig to either a positive or negative slope. A positive slope is defined as sloping downward toward the machine. A negative slope is defined as sloping upward toward the machine. The display will tell you if the direction of the slope is positive or negative. Once our depth and slope targets are set, we establish a benchmark on grade point. As we covered in the first scenario, the depth check system provides audible and visual alerts to achieve grade point during excavation, alleviating under or over digging that could cost unnecessary time and money. After repositioning the excavator to continue the trench, a new benchmark must be performed on grade point. This requires the bucket's teeth or cutting edge to reach a previously excavated and on grade point. When sustaining a grade, it is critical to establish a new benchmark on grade point every time the tracks or blade are moved. For example, let's imagine the excavator is repositioned downhill to where the machine is now sitting three inches lower than it previously was. If we skip establishing a new benchmark, our grade point will be three inches lower than what we previously excavated. After establishing a new benchmark, another digging cycle can begin. We just covered how to dig to a specific depth below ground level and how to sustain a grade using the upgraded depth check system. Here are some additional tips. If a job doesn't require a high degree of accuracy, increasing the grade zone will result in more tolerance to what depth check considers on grade. For example, a 2-inch grade zone will result in 1 inch above and 1 inch below grade point to be considered on grade, and alerts will sound less frequently. If precision or high accuracy is required, Set the grade zone to a lower value or zero. This will result in strict tolerances to what depth check considers on grade. Operators may choose between two reference modes, earth reference and machine reference, located within the depth check settings under preferences. Earth reference provides indication to a final grade that is independent of the slope that the machine is on. For example, if the machine is on a hill with a 5% slope and the slope target is 2%, the final grade would equal 2%. Machine reference provides indication to a final grade that is on the same slope or plane as the machine. 
For example, if the machine is on a hill with a 5% slope, the final grade would equal 5%. Target slope cannot be set when in machine reference as the slope of final grade will equal the slope of the ground that the machine is on. In most applications, earth reference will be the preferred mode and result in improved final grade accuracy. If spot checking the grade with a self-leveling laser, utilize earth reference as it is unlikely the machine is on the same slope as the transmitter. For more information on depth check and how to increase your digging and grading precision, talk to your local Bobcat dealer or visit bobcat.com for more details.